Okay. Do I even remember how to do this? Attention comedy musicians and comedy music fans. The Logan Awards are taking open nominations for outstanding comedy songs and videos released last year for this year's awards. Did you release a comedy song or music video last year? Or have a favorite comedy song or video that was released last year? Then nominate it for the Logan Awards today. What are the Logan Awards? To put it simply, they're the Comedy Music Awards, presented annually by the Funny Music Project and are presented in three categories. Outstanding Original Comedy Song, Outstanding Parody Song, and Outstanding Comedy Music Video. If you have a comedy song that was released last year that you'd like to nominate for this year's awards, head to loganawards.com and click the Nominations tab at the top. There is a minimum and maximum of five nominations per person. Hurry! Nominations close this year on May 28th. For more details about Logan himself, the awards, and more, check out loganawards.com. Help us commemorate the year's best comedy songs and music videos with a trophy, the way they do with every other form of entertainment. But if you want your favorites to win, you have to nominate them by May 28th. Get your nominations in now at loganawards.com, brought to you by thefump.com. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to yet another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. That's right. I'm back. I took a brief hiatus, and now I'm back with some brand new songs. I've seen all your messages, and yes, I'm finally reacting to Dive Into the Madness by Dan Bull, the song for Little Nightmares, and Tune Into the Madness, the Little Nightmares 2 song by The Stipendium, featuring Dan Bull. Said Stupendium kind of weird there. Uh, anyway, uh, yes, I am aware that I... I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and uh, these songs, not exactly going to be comedy music, just a wild hunch, uh, because they're kind of based on spooky little platformers, namely the Little Nightmares games. Uh, but there's been kind of a, a thing where people kind of think of me as a stupendium reactor. I react to other things too, clearly, uh, reacting to Dan Bull's song first but other comedy musicians as well. Uh, speaking of comedy music, uh, the Comedy Music Awards, aka the Logan Awards, are still taking open nominations for the uh, 2021 awards ceremony coming up this year. So any song that came out last year, in 2020, is eligible. It just have to be nominated by the fans. So if you have any songs that came out last year that were your favorites, comedy songs or comedy music videos, either parody or original, you can submit them to the Logan Awards at loganawards.com and clicking the nominations button, kind of like an ad I'm sure you may have seen at some point. But uh, regardless, uh, we're going to dive into this. If this is your first time joining me for one of these, uh, I actually react to things, which means I pause the video and pause it semi-often so that I'm not talking over the song trying to talk about the thing I'm reacting to. My reaction style, I'm sure many people do it too, but, uh, yeah, if you're gonna ask me to not pause, I'm sorry, I'm gonna pause it's what this show is all about. Uh, usually I react to comedy stuff, probably not this week, but anyway, more videos to come, whole playlists of other things. Now that I think I've gotten everything out of the way, I think, yes, maybe, sure, let's get into this thing. Already spooky. And then suddenly jaunty. Never mind. Deep down, down below the waves is a foreboding place from which you won't escape. No, those who go there go to stay below the ocean spray. Who knows your fate? I it's very... Like, the, the affectation he's putting on his voice... It doesn't make Dan sound like Dan. He's 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 doing sort of a almost a stupendium style affectation to his voice. That's uh that's interesting. All right, sure. Deep down, down below the waves is a foreboding place from which you won't escape. No, those who go there go to stay below the ocean spray. Who knows your fate? A little lassie in an overcoat stowed away. Six is it a precocious age, or so they say, don't they? Six is at a precocious age. Isn't the character also named Six? Like, that's not just 
the age that's the name of the character, right? Am I am I mistaken? Again, uh, I, I haven't actually played these games. I've watched playthroughs of some of them, not all of them, and, and know enough about them, but I haven't played them myself, so I'm not super tuned into the lore of this. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think the character's name is actually Six, as well as it being her age. Or maybe I'm just thinking of a character from Blossom. Shut up. Those who go there go to stay below the ocean spray. Who knows your fate? A little lassie in an overcoat stowed away. Six is a precocious angel, so they say, don't they? If she was any younger, Six would have succumbed to hunger by now. Okay, her character name is Six. And also, these uh, Little Nightmare games are very Tim Burton-esque, or maybe Peter Selnick esque Peter Selnick was the one who directed Nightmare Before Christmas, even though it was based on Tim Burton drawings. And I think he also did Corpse Bride. And did he also do Coraline? No, Tim Burton, I think Tim Burton did Corpse Bride, or it was based on a Tim Burton thing, but he definitely did Coraline, which was, some of those are Laika and some of those are Disney. I think what they were from Disney became Laika. Claymation, uh, stop motion animation, not claymation, but you know what I mean. Meh. Is it any wonder? I wonder why we're frightened of lightning and thunder. Sneaking around, feet on the ground, never even making a peep or a sound. Dive into the madness, try swimming through miasmic blackness. Ooh. Dive into the madness. Just, just creepily shoving something into a fish. Also, this is a banging hook. Never even making a peep or a sound. Dive into the Boo. madness. Try swimming through miasmic blackness. Dive into the madness. See sick from the spinning of the atlas. Oh, I say, you gave me a fright there. I thought I was having a little nightmare. Oh, I say, you gave me Clever. a fright there. So scared that I might get white hair. Shadows are disguised in the bright glare. Where did she hide? She was right there, I swear. I glare with a wide eyed stare at the site where I spied her. My girl. That's a dude hanging in that shot. White hair! Shadows are disguised in the bright glare. Where did she hide? She was right there, I swear. I glare with a wide eyed stare at the site where I spied her. My girl, I hope you're strapped up tight in your high chair. I'm not adequately providing childcare. <laughs> not adequately providing childcare. Yeah, because she's just roaming this boat all alone by herself, and these giant blobulous adults are trying to capture her and possibly eat her. It's unsafe, is what I'm saying. I glare with a wide-eyed stare at the site where I spied her. My girl, I hope you're strapped up tight in your high chair. I'm not adequately providing childcare. How well you might fare, if only I would fight fair. Yeah. In my spare time, I like to strike fair into Ooh. the hearts of the hotter little children. Let's be honest, then I'm probably gonna kill them. Shock. Okay, so it's coming from the perspective of one of the adults now. Them chuck them, lob them off the building. Do you really need the details filled in? Trails filled and boiled into goop, seasoned with herbs and then served as a soup. I haven't had dinner yet. And boiling entrails and serving them in a soup and, uh... I'm suddenly not hungry anymore. I just... Because that's it. A... Ew. Gonna kill them, chop them, chuck them, lob them off the building. Do you really need the details filled in? Trails filled and boiled into goop, seasoned with herbs and then served as a soup. Feeding the mouths of the greediest guests, who can see for yourself, it's easy queasy to digest. Oh, I say, you gave me a fright there. What a sickening sight, that's quite bad. Oh, I say, you gave me a fright there. I thought I was having a little nightmare. Dive into the madness, vanishing the line, dividing good and badness. You could only hide under your mattress till you need to resupply your lighters and matches. You I gotta say, Dan's flow on this is really spectacular. There's a whole lot of fantastic doubles and triples going in with the rhymes and everything. I'm, this is really an enjoyable track. Uh, I, I, I like this one a lot. Again, not knowing super a lot about the game, I'm still enjoying the song, and it's definitely painting an accurate picture of 
only what I can assume it is to play through the game. At least from the visuals, it's matching that really well. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely digging this one. Uh, yeah, I like stuff other than just comedy music. I do listen to other types of music, though the main thrust of this show is mostly just to react to comedy music. They are musicians who mostly do comedy, not doing comedy this particular week. You can be sure that in the jaws of the mall, you're gonna come out looking like you fought in the war. More with the paw of a polar bear. Hold, hold it down, or fall to the floor. You're insulting the law and the bulls in my court. Don't run, there's little point bolting the door when I'm holding a sore and patrolling for gore. My depravity glands all swollen and sore. My depravity glands all swollen and sore. That's a fantastic line. And then the more you think about that line, the more disgusting that line is. The more you kind of go, oh yeah, that's, sure, that makes a lot, oh god, oh no, oh no, oh, oh no, that's, shouldn't think about that. Because the, the more you think about it, the worse the implications are as to what your depravity gland is. Naughty. You're insulting the law and the bulls in my court Don't run this little point bolting the door When I'm holding a saw and patrolling for gore My depravity glands all swollen and sore You find that revolting, I'm sure I don't care, I'll shove you through a revolving door <laughs> I wrote the rules down here And all I am concerned with is fair Tyrant of the madness I really dig the groove of this song This is really great Revolting, I'm sure I don't care, I'll shove you through a revolving door I wrote the rules down here, and all I am concerned with is fair. Nice. Madness. The diamond of the madness now. The diamond of the madness. The diamond of the madness now. This is. Bravo. Hello, it's Dan Ball. If you're a Spotify user, you can hear pretty much all my music over there. I've even put it into one massive, continuously growing playlist for your convenience. <laughs> You'll be able to hear a lot of my songs before they appear on YouTube. Ooh, hip. That was, that was a fantastic song. Had an amazing groove to it. Really, really dug that. Um, and, and kind of some vocals I'm not used to hearing from Dan. Kind of, uh, like, I... I like Dan's stuff a lot, and I, I have to admit, I'm not super familiar with everything that he's done. Uh, but uh, there's still a lot that he's done that I've enjoyed, and uh, I'm not familiar with uh, him adjusting his voice or even his inflection in a lot of them. Uh, so this is this was a, a treat, as they say. A surprise and a wonderful one at that. But let's move on to the sequel now. Little Monsters 2, the Tune Into the Madness, which is clearly... A sequel in title as well as to game. Sure. This video features flashing lights and flickering imagery. Viewer discretion is advised. They're putting that on a lot of games now too, and actually some movies. Uh, both Into the Spider-Verse and Mitchell's vs. the Machines had an epilepsy warning. Um, maybe just don't do so much flashing, guys. But, you know... Sometimes it can't be helped, and that's just the way the imagery uh, is made. So at least they have the warning there. So I'm saying the warning now out loud. It's going to be happening in the corner over there that the video is playing in. Do you know any good monsters? Did you ever swerve your car in today's top speed of 35 miles an hour into an automobile? Do you ever do the dishes for your wife? I sure do. do you, are you experiencing feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or anyone in your family seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Go pick up your phone and call the professionals, Ghostbusters. Our courteous and efficient staff is on call for your supernatural elimination needs 24 hours a day. Uh, I messed up that end there, but you get the point. Say not. Mrs. Carter doesn't really mind washing her teeth on coated pants. You, vital and fashionable. Fond of children. Well, it's only natural. Yes, you can't get away from it. Interesting. Interesting. 
And it's safe? Yes, sir. Deep down, down between the trees, nestled in the leaves, gleams a TV screen. Made a small lad sitting in the tall grass. Listen our transmission to be broadcast. As soon as we talk dark thoughts and so past the watershed line before your bedtime. Panic like a rabbit that is caught in headlights. The cool manic, of course you're dead right. You better... Well, this is a team up. Whoa! <laughs> First couple of bars already. Uh, deep and dope, and them playing off of each other, finishing lines, and and completing couplets there is fantastic. Wow. Broadcast. As soon as we talk dark thoughts and so past the watershed line before your bedtime, panic like a rabbit that is caught in headlights. The cool and manic, of course you're dead right. You better exercise more caution next time, or you'll end up in tomorrow morning's headlines. Obituary, nothing more than born and then die. Not a single family member or a friend cries. Wow. Wow. And also, all the stuff on the TV, uh, not even having to do with the game. It's just random. B movie sci fi stuff that I've seen. Uh, it could be uh, eventually going to more. Uh, clearly, this game, not on a boat. Great, Ian. I'm so observant. Uh, yeah, no, this is. Uh, this is the same as last, only more. I'm a writer, clearly. Right. You better exercise more caution next time Or you'll end up in tomorrow morning's headlines Obituary, nothing more than born and then die Not a single family member or a friend cry oh. Tune in to the madness oh. Tune in to the madness oh, and more Tune in to the madness oh. Tune in to the madness on oh. That is uh, a great flip on the previous hook uh, I dig that. The first and only one of its kind, delicious, nutritious breakfast cereals, shot from gun. <laughs> yes, sir. You could buy eight additional teaspoons. Oh, look who's come for tea. Are you sitting comfortably? Oh, let the children better sit still then. Cause when little kitties visit, then I kill them. Alright, suddenly this is the Baker family from Resident Evil 7? I just... Uh... Now in session, time you learn your lesson. Get into the bed until your mind is effervescent. Bubbling, the troubling, you'll find it less depressing. Open up your eyes, you'll be surprised by you might let you in the violence of the trip. Oh dear, he had something wrong with his eye. That was a no. Oh, oh no. There's and the stopping This is this is a great screen to stop on here. Look at Dan's face. Look, uh, just the the two of them. Just Well then. Is now in session. Time you learn your lesson. Get into the glare until your mind is effervescent. Bubbling, the troubling, you'll find it less depressing. Open up your eyes, you'll be surprised, but you might let you in the violence of yeah. the tragic. Hiding in the static. This silent enigmatic child had better pack it in. A little schedule to the grown up. Revel in the pestilence, and she beats throws up. As a result of long continuing research of commercial explosives, that's new and improved formula cleans teeth whiter than ever. Mm, it certainly does. No. Cleans teeth whiter than ever. Assuming you have teeth, because it got to the <laughs> Okay. Tune into the madness. Pictures hand quick to be sick and crazy. But tune into the madness. Transfixed and bewitched by the flickering TV. He really loves using the glasses that suddenly go anime. It's just bright white lenses. That's a thing. Hold up, don't touch that dial. Yeah. It's our aisle of muck yeah. and dye. Save you clad in a paper bag. Oh, that must be one ugly child. <laughs> between the pixels on the screen oh. there you'll see a place between the sickle and the screen oh. feel the oscillation of the crystal in your dreams just switch off your brain and let it sizzle in the beams okay getting the the face distortion making the eyes go big is very sound garden's black hole sun to me it's just with the creepy smiles and the overuse of the elongating tool in photoshop or whatever tool it is i'm sure it's not called the elongating tool because that's wrong on several levels, but uh, making the things stretch and smear... It's, I'm sure it's a stretch tool. Yeah, that's better, somehow. Dear child, gaze into the space between the pixels on the screen. There you'll see a place between the signal and the screen. Feel the oscillation of the crystal in your dreams. Just switch off your brain and let it sizzle in the beam. The scene some viewers may find disturbing. Violent and unnerving. Frighteningly alerting. Slightly stomach churning. Why would you be turning out? 
just like you. I lock to the box with a schlock like glue. Shambling in the drove, scrambling in the loo. Get tangled in the strobes and you cross eye too. Yeah, that. That kind of image. Right there. With the <laughs> happening on his face. That's what I'm talking about. That's... I'm not sleeping tonight, am I? That's just a... <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, and I, you know what? A admittedly, I, I said these songs probably weren't going to be super funny, and they're not hilarious knockout things, but there still are some jokes littered throughout as evidenced by my nervous laughter throughout this. Uh, yeah. Here's a message to millions of people who are continually pale and washed out, weak and run down. All I do is bring you pounds and pounds of baby food. Who needs to take any steady fighting kick? In fact, this fact that our mother boys and girls have overactive oil glands. Don't say it like that. Yeah, don't say it like that. You make her sound ungainly. Tune in to the madness. <laughs> Swimming with me has McBackness. Uh, Tune in to the madness. Uh, Sit glued to your viewing apparatus. Dizzy, dizzy, let's get busy. Uh, Such a pity, did a kid is through a tizzy. Uh, Don't be silly, what the trouble, little Timmy? Itty bitty nipper should be giddy for the tizzy. Strange lights are disguised in a bright glare. Daytime television's hellish in the right mind. Too much time staring, I'll make your eyes square. Any more land on all that chocolate? Suddenly puppets. This is a song that, even more so than the last, and, and the last song could do this as well, but, like, you... There's barely anything about the game, at least, that I know of, because, admittedly, I've said this, I don't know too much about the second game, even less than I knew about the first one. And this one hasn't even used game footage, at least to my knowledge, that I've been able to see in the background. So, this is just a, a spooky song about... Problematic TV watching. <laughs> you know, uh, not exactly, but like, you know, it's the outward gist of it. Uh, obviously, as you get more into the song, it delves a little deeper than that, as does most songs by the Stipendium and Dan Bull. But uh, the, just the, the, the outer layer of it seems less connected to the game. Although, you know, the first game's on a boat. The second game, which is Dive Into the Madness, the second game probably has something to do with television. Tune Into the Madness, otherwise they probably wouldn't have chosen this as the theme for this one. Is all I'm saying. Uh, maybe I'm just missing that because I don't see the game stuff here and I'm less familiar with it. Uh, I'm sure all of that will cause people in the comments to tell me exactly how I wrong I am. How I wrong I am? How wrong I am. With speaking, too, apparently, with the words and can't have them uh, with the speechings. Uh, this is, yeah, this is... What I'm trying to say is, I'm so out of practice. Uh, I, I took weeks off and now I can't even words at the camera face ping. Uh, no, it's, it's still a great song. Uh, I'm just not seeing the connection because I don't know the connection because I don't know the game well, so there probably is a connection there that I'm missing. Did you get all that? Those last couple of bars from the last time I paused to this one were absolutely fire. Probably the best bars in the song so far. Uh, and everything around them previously was already great. But those bars specifically, uh, talking about the cathode rays and, and changing the, the chromatic from black and white to color and just... And then, yeah, uh, I can't even comprehend everything that just happened in that verse. It was all so good. All right. Maybe one day the will I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewind it a bit more. Because this... Yeah, starting with this verse, they say it's challenging to break a daily habit. That's so good. Oh! 
had I just let it play, I would have figured out that, oh, I guess you're creeping through a house and there's lots of TVs in the house and perhaps you're in the attic and the adults are downstairs hearing you and possibly wanting to kill you. And it's a co-op game too, isn't it? Sure. All right. You got to respect a song which works in the word hippocampus. Oh, Goopy. Feast your eyes here and eat the tide. Peaceful life for the cheapest price. Seek to seek and find. Oh, plead with Jesus Christ. In the deep of night, you'll really see the light. The world observes just how ominous the world is when we're not on earth. Handling the badges' minds until they turn with us and wonder. Okay, I take it back. The, the this new verse here. Cream. It covers everything easily and beautifully. And what a high fall we're going to get. <laughs> the whole feast your eyes uh, verse here. Some of the rhymes in this are absolutely fantastic as well. Uh, anesthetized already is sure. There's a rhyme anybody else would think of other than these guys. No need to seek advice or plead to Jesus Christ. Ah, I I don't know why I love those so much, but that's really good to my brain. I like it. Christ in the deep of night, you really see the light. No one observes just how ominous the world is when monotonous. Handling the brightest minds until they turn with us and ponder. Better turn, this is eternal, this eternal is sarcophagus. The uncertainty preposterous, man, in many hospitals. Certain what lurks under the surface of your consciousness. Observe it and you learn that it's perturbing, taken my... All right, now that's the most disturbing thing I've seen in this entire video, and that's saying a lot. Uma Thurman's new detergent. <laughs> yeah, okay. I dig that. Wonderful. Bravo for that. That's, uh, that's great. Notable lineup of schooling and comedy. Huge win at the Madness. No yet is ever really happy without the right kind of tea. Oh, don't keep staring at me. <laughs> Getting high on life could be hard of You just can't fill up fast enough, can you? Wow. Bravo, boys. That was fantastic. Thank you for tuning in. And gee, do we have some people to thank. Our loyal patrons allow us to provide our unbeatable service. And say, that damn bullfella is all right. Oh, sure, he's fine, fine. Did you enjoy the program? <laughs> I like how I said wow and the voice on the ad at the end said wow at the same time. That was that was a thing. That was that whole ending bit even had a little tiny mini song in it. Uh, that's a lot. Wow, okay, those were great. Uh, again, not super filled with comedy, but still some lines that got me laughing. Um, still some fantastic tunes about some clearly disturbing games. And, uh, the songs, I think, match them very well. Without playing them, I can't say for sure, but, uh, 
from my impressions of them. I think they match them well. Uh, yeah, I really, really dig those. If you dig this, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Or if you really want to help out my channel, check out my Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get new music from me every month, uh, as well as many other cool things. Uh, yeah, that was fantastic. I'm impressed. I'm going to go see if I can somehow eat food now. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye. Holy crap, you guys, are you all okay? Who the fuck this field trip would turn out this way? When we left today for this factory, never thought this would be our final resting place. You know, we were so surprised when we found this place was built on ancient burial ground. But the teacher didn't really seem to fear when couples from our group began to disappear. First Greg and Peg both vanished together. Then